And then the third thing I see with uh, too much comfort in a comfort zone is uh, isolation. You know, we, we've, you know, it's funny when you're, when you're home, right? You don't really have to get dressed up to go to work or, you know, um, you know, those kinds of things. The bra sales went in the tank. Um, shaving went down, all that kind of stuff. I, I saw a, fun, a funny little uh, bumper sticker there that uh, my boyfriend's uh, been working from home so long, he now refers to pants as hard pants, you know, because he's sitting around the home wearing sweats all the time. Well, you know, again, it's comfortable, uh, but I just don't know that we go through life wearing sweats all day long or you end up with a sweats mindset, okay? Uh, so we have a little too much comfort in the comfort zone. And, and you know, one of the things... Um, a great friend of mine, he's a speaker named Joe Ehrman, said to me one time, he said, Brian, when I hear you speak, I always hear you, you bring comfort to the afflicted and you tend to afflict the comfortable. And, uh, you know, if that's the case, then fair enough. And so if you're a little too comfortable today, I hope to afflict you. I hope to challenge you to get out of your comfort zone, get out and about. (laughs) 